Hello, 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 dear friends. Chris here. I hope you're well. Um, if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it here. Um, I hope you would do those youtube -y things like like, subscribe, share, comment below. Um, and if you're... Oops, sorry for the shaking. Um, and if you're one of my returning friends and true blues out there, thank you for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, there. Um, so I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five items for you today from Diamond Art Gift. Um, but before I get to that, I just want to say, first off, any pertinent information will be listed below in the description box, such as my social media info, um, any discount codes, and of course, the links to all of these products from Diamond Art Gift will be linked below in the description. So check them out. Um, and one last thing, I don't know the provenance of these items, so if this is an issue for you, I understand fully, and thank you for watching up to this point, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so let's get right to it. Uh, go to smallest to largest, although I'm going to save a off-canvas thing for, for later, because I have four canvases to show you and a special project. So let's get to the first one. Here we have... Uh, this beautiful, beautiful stained glass um, flower uh, picture for you. And it's a stained glass in a frame type thing. There's 24 colors. They go from uh, 1 to 8 and um, some and letters as well then. Uh, lots of color blocking in this one. Um, yes, it's very, very pretty. Now, of course, I really wish this was in rhinestones, but no, this is a regular drill. Although, quite honestly, I could easily possibly, you know, do make it a mixed media and do some some rhinestones in here. Um, and I could also, if I had enough, or if I could find a kind of a package um, sort of thing without go spending lots of money, um, I could get my own rhinestone in like a pack to change out colors. It's all a possibility because I really would prefer this in a rhinestone, but um, anyways, uh, oops, here is our thumbnail and our Legends of the Fall right here. And here's a close up of the canvas. Great legibility, great design, and great charting. Again, a simple design with the flowers, a, a butterfly or two, and the greenery. Love it. So here is the colors. Again, beautiful, vibrant colors. These come in individual bags. Um, beautiful blues, pinks, greens, and more blues, some yellows on the reds. I mean, everything, again, every color you'd love is in here. Bright color, I should say. And again, easily could be done in uh, mixed media with some rhinestones um or, or, or changing them out this is a kind of canvas where there's not tons of the bag itself isn't because of the size i should say what i'm trying to say is it's a 30 by 40 so the size of the colors that you're going to get aren't going to be so many where you know if you can find some colors or leftovers or buy some rhinestones uh in like a pack kind of thing that's what i'm thinking um it wouldn't be super expensive, but I don't know. This is all my thinking going on. I could just be just nuts, so don't listen to me. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. And even if it's not rhinestone, it'll be beautiful in a regular drill. I'll probably do that hopefully sometime in the spring. Uh, definitely not now. This is, you know, I'm not feeling that now. I'm feeling the winter, the holiday stuff now, so... Okay, and this is another spring one coming up, as, as a matter of fact. 
a little bit larger. This is a 40 by 50. And one of my favorites, butterflies. You know, I mean, I can't, I cannot pass up a flower or butterfly painting. This one especially, these two. First the, the stained glass one, now this. Gigantic butterflies. I mean, look at those stunners. Again, I see potential for rhinestones here, people. Beautiful. So we have a beautiful butterfly here, here, and here. Three beautiful, very well defined. Here it looks like it's on hydrangea, one of my favorite flowers. Then in the background we have these greenery leaves, lovely. And it looks like it's in a house. This is, which is odd because butterflies wouldn't be in a house, but the background, this beautiful blue background, like a brocade or a paisley type background here. First a darker one over here, and then a lighter blue with these beautiful, um, again, filigree, whatever you want to call it, brocade, filigree, um, paisley kind of swirls up in here. That makes it look like a wallpaper. Uh, I mean, gorgeous. I, th this is a stunner. I absolutely love this design. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I have been talking all morning without water, and my throat is killing me. I can barely speak. <laughs> so, here we have our drill field, or I should say our Legends of Miss Baltimore Crab over here. All letters, item number, and our drill field. This is a stunner. Love it to death. Okay. Now, this one comes in the old fashioned -y small packs of drills <laughs> with uh, the tiny little packages. And as you can see here, we have our light blues, our oranges. Then in between, we have different shades of green light green, sage greens. We have more blues in there. We have some browns as well. Some bright oranges here. A little bright blues. So, beautiful color palette. But like I said, I definitely can see some potential for changing up in this one. Oh yes, customization. So, Wow, this one's going fairly quickly, this video. I, and you know what, the crazy thing is too, is that I absolutely love these canvases. I just think they're, they're fabulous. Now this is a newer one that I came, that came out recently. And again, I just, another one, it's a gorgeous. It says it's a 40 by 60, but I'm guessing that, of course, that's the canvas size. Let me just measure this one because I'm interested in what the actual size is. It's a 52, 32 by 52. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, 32. Yeah, 52. Okay. So it's not as off as I thought it might be. Um, but yes, so I'm not a huge um, animal person, but this, let me, come on guys, this is a stunner. We have this, I'm assuming, again, don't shoot me, tiger. With, with a, a jewel, bejeweled collar, a jeweled on his head. Oh, stunning. And then the background, which like this is kind of like a peacocky kind of background here. I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. How could you not love that? This is again, 40 by 60 canvas size. 
information here, item number. This is the thumbnail. And our Legend of the Fall here. All letters. Here's our tour of the drill field. The canvas, I should say, really. Again, we have some color blocking and not huge amounts of color blocking, but color blocking uh, in the areas, but um, also some confettis and, and other and as well. You know, you'll have color blocking in here. You know, there's really two kind of colors probably, but you can get use the multi-placers. Um, but then in here, in here, in here, more confetti. Again, a good mixture. These budgets generally have very good mixture of confetti and color blocking. this tail right there. I'm telling you, these are fabulous. And with this one, this one comes in individual bags. Um, definitely, generally not my color, uh, what do you call it? Not my style with the, with the animal, but also the color palette. We have a lot of kind of burnt oranges and olive greens and some browns um, in here on this side that you could see. Um, but on the other side, it's more uh, colorful. We have some bright greens, lime greens, not a lime green, but mm, I would say more of a citrusy green. Um, we have a little blue there. We have a bright um, kind of um, teal green um, and, and more blues. Um, so it's uh, not a bright canvas, except in the certain areas. You know, obviously in the blue areas over here and here. And of course this area here, which will probably be these colors. But everywhere else, of course, is a little darker, which is fine. I'm, I don't mind dark canvases. It's just usually the browns I'm not loving. But this doesn't have enough where it's going to drive me crazy or anything. So I'm good with it. And this artwork is just so great. I, I, I doesn't matter to me at all. Oh, let me turn this out. Yes, I mean, how could you pass these up, guys? How could you? you can't. Okay. Our fourth canvas is a 50 by 60. Now, this one, truth be told, since I was just talking about colors and, and stuff, and confetti, this will be hard for me to do, but it's a round and it's a 50 by 60, so it isn't gigantic. And the subject matter, I, I just, I had to get it. Oh my God, guys, look at, look at. So let's give a little backstory on this. I saw this canvas for a while because I know the colors and such. I was like, mm, no, I don't, I don't want to do it. And then I kind of was like, decided, you know what? I'm just, I recently just got so obsessed with this little baby Yoda. And uh, who doesn't love Gizmo from Gremlins? I love Gizmo. And I'm like, I can't pass up this painting with Baby Yoda and Gizmo in the same picture. You know what, what am I doing thinking about worrying about the little brown colors or darker colors and like this, that usually I hate. Get over yourself. The picture's worth it. So what happens? I contacted um, one of my com uh, budget companies that um, asked me to pick out some stuff and they said, sorry, we don't have this anymore. I was like, oh no, are you kidding me? So I was so disappointed. So we well, wait a week or whatever it was. And then um, I'm lucky enough that uh, Diamond Art Gift asked me to choose some stuff for you, to show you all. And I'm like, <coughs> excuse me. 
sorry guys, again, uh, sore throat, allergies, not fun. Um, so I'm looking through their website and I, when I do this stuff, I really look, spend a lot of time looking for stuff that I like and that I think you all might like and all that, you know, all that jazz. I find it and I'm like, oh my God, Diamond Arcus has it. I send it, so I let them know and I'm like, fingers crossed, fingers crossed they're going to have it. Fingers crossed they're going to have it. Luckily they do. So thankfully Diamond Art Gift still has it. At least they have it up until sending this to me. Um, actually, you know what? Let me just check real quick to see if it's available on their site right now. I want to I wanna check for you all. Let's see. It says sold out. So I don't know if they'll have this or not anymore. Again, the another company doesn't have it, or at least I don't know if that means it was sold out or they don't make it anymore. And now this one says it's sold out. So I don't know, guys. If you love Yoda, baby Yoda, and you love Gizmo, mm, I don't know. But I'm so glad I was able to snag this one up while I could. Possibly on a last chance. I don't know. But keep if you love it, keep an eye out on this. Um, it's a 50 by 60. Enough of me, my little story. You just don't, again, get to the canvas, right, Chris? It's 24 colors. Um, this one is much more confetti. Yes, again, there's color blocking somewhat in these sky areas. Um, but there is then mixed in other colors. But you can get some color blocking, a little color blocking in the white here. And a little color blocking over here. But in this little thing, which I don't watch these shows. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't watch these Star Wars things, so I don't know anything about it. I've only ever seen one Star Wars movie, like, 25, 30 years ago. Who knows? Longer than that. Um, it's not my really thing. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what this thing is supposed to be. But he's riding in it. And this is super confetti over here. Um, there's a little guy chasing him. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but he's chasing him down. Um, and I just love the fact that they threw Gizmo in here. Uh, it's just, just, it's the cutest thing. Uh, again, more confetti down here in the road, this road looking area. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's bring it up close. Okay, we have the item number, we have the picture, and we have... Our color list you could see all the kind of colors in it so there even though there are some of the browns there's these bright pinks and reds and there is whites in here so um it's good and you can see the drill field you can see little gizmo's face look at him how cute oh god how can you resist that face and more in the background then the cute little baby yoda oh my god i love him don't you just love him Look at his little eyes, his ears. Oh, his little tubular thing he's riding around in. And there's some stormtrooper or something chasing him. I don't know why, but I just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and so, yeah, that is it. So, we have our colors. Can't see anything really on this side. This is a uh, bags. And here we have our colors. Again, let's try the light game. So we have some burgundies and some pinks and browns over here, greens, taupes. And we have a white color, again, corals, and like a brownish colors, then a greenish blues, and some browns and grays, and reds, yellows, oranges, burgundies. So it's a very, you know, fall palette color. Colors there. So there we have that. And one last thing I'm going to show you. Which is a special project, which is related. I have some keychains. Now I'm going to use these as... 
Christmas tree ornaments. So, per usual, every kit you get in dime painting will come with a pen, a tray, and some wax. And this one comes with the little cl uh, the clasps and the, the, the chains, so you can use them to chain them up for other keychains. But like I said, I'm going to use these as Christmas ornaments. And here he is again. They're double-sided, which I like. I don't really care for ones that are only one-sided. So it's a double-sided. It's our little baby Yoda in the little round ball thing. He's there, then he's there. Again, he must love this little black round ball thing. Oh, let me turn this out. Here he is there. I don't know what he's holding. Is that a shield? Again, that's some sort of thing on the show. Your movies, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, oh, that's a helmet, I think. That's a helmet. And he, look at, he's in a little Christmas gift. Look at, oh. That's what I'm hoping to get for Christmas is a Baby Yoda. So there. Again, him, I think in his, like, somebody's helmet. Looks like he has a little smile on his face. And look at his big eyes. And let's look at our colors. we have reds and some bright uh, teal a beautiful um, a citron green um, a peachy orange we have clears black red brown then an amber color then another orange a brighter orange, another amber color, um, a sort of like a champagne color, and a grayish color. So, hopefully by the end of this video, stick around, stick around, because I will have hopefully done these keychains. Um, or at least I'll have one done. I don't know, but hopefully by the time um, this I don't have to have, I have so many videos. Sorry guys. I have so many videos um, that I have to do and put up that I'm going to try to save the ones with projects that I can show you while I finish on. I'm gonna save them towards the end of my releases. And ones without, I'm going to put in the beginning. So hopefully by that time, you will see these keychains slash Christmas ornaments finished. And let's recap real quick. Cute five ornaments. Baby Yoda. You have to get these if you love Yoda. Baby Yoda. Uh, just, and yes, I call him that and not his really. Then you have Baby Yoda and Gizmo. Oh my God. Oh, I just love it. Oh, just squeeze the little cheeks. And uh, we have our tiger, lioness, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm not good with that stuff. With a beautiful background here. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Another stunning one with our butterflies, wallpaper, hydrangea, stuff going on here. And finally, our stained glass, colorful picture of flowers and butterfly. Oh, this is a win, win, win. Love him, love him all. Thank you, thank you so, so very much um, uh, to Diamond Art Gift. I truly, truly appreciate it. I adore all this stuff. Love, love, love it. I hope you all do too. Tell me, what did you all think? What did you love? What did you hate? 
Will you want any of these? Are you trying to get a search around to snag Yoda and Gizmo? Um, should I change some of these out for crystals? I want all your thoughts and all your comments down below in the description box, or excuse me, in the comments. And remember, all these will be linked in the description as well as all the sociables, sociables, I said it, and anything else that's pertinent um, that you might want to need. Um, again, question, comments, ask, and Diamond Art Gift, thanks so much. Go check him out. Links below, and that's enough. I've talked long enough. This is the last video of the day. I'm so excited. Now I can go rest my voice. Okay, guys, till next time. Thanks so, so very much. Love you all. Please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, it's me. I'm back. And as promised, I finished my keychains. They are adorable. First, look at, oh my god, little Yoda, baby Yoda in a present. Again, no problems with any of these. I didn't run out of any drills. They all came out great. They were super fun to do. Love it, love it, love it. Then we have him in this little ball thingy. Slide into place, please. I'll show you them again in a minute. Then we have this one. Actually, these are the same, aren't they? No, just a little different. And we have this one where he's holding this big old helmet thing, peeking out behind from it. And this one, which is probably my favorite because he has big old eyes in this one. Oh, the only thing I will say is that this part where the eyes are, the, which is the only part that's not dime painted, that is sticky on all of these. Um, I don't really care. I don't, you know, it is what it is. But that's the only kind of criticism I would have is that that is sticky um, over there in the eyes. And, of course, you know, on the sides, you know, when you feel that. But I don't really care about that. This is so worth it. These are fabulous. Just fabulous. I am fabulous. Um, and I guess the only other thing would be they have like three of these that are kind of the same style. Like if they had these three and then like maybe these two were different, that would be great. Because again, this one was my favorite and then this one and this one. Um, but definitely love them. If it, any, uh, baby, any Baby Yoda fans or Star Wars or any of this stuff, de definitely a must. And again, Christmas is upon us. So these will be decorations and maybe you have somebody that would appreciate these or maybe you do. Um, so it's a great little gift. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching again. And um, until next time, be safe, be happy and stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.